this short video here. Um, so y'all know about drilling uh, the block and whatever. Um, I don't do that. I don't think it's necessary. Um, you know, clearances are tight. And unless you're running like an ungodly clearance and spinning extreme RPM. And even then, I mean, you really don't need to be drilling your block. So that, uh, to me, that just weakens it. You, you, you don't need it. Um, so let's see. We're... So when it comes to um, drilling these um, plugs and having it drip on the timing chain, I don't do that. Um, I know a lot of guys, you know, they like to, you know, put like a little orifice there and squirts. I don't like messing with the pressure side. Okay. Uh, what I do do is I actually drill this a five sixteenths. Okay. And then I tap it with a three eighths, uh, tap. And what I then do is, you know, it just, it goes all the way back there. And when this fills up with oil, okay. So I got a plug there. Um, when this fills up with oil, all the extra, it goes, through this bolt, okay? Now, you can you can use the um, original bolt and drill it, but, um, I, you know, I just like to go a size bigger. So, so when that fills up with oil right there, all that extra, it just, it, it travels through comes out of there and just drips down and of course gets slung. So, um, yeah, um, if, if you're worried about, um, drilling into the pressure side and just want something simple, that's what I go about doing. And if you haven't noticed, well, you probably did. So if you look at the block, um, now if y'all are familiar with the Uncle's t Uncle Tony's garage. Um, he uh, he posts these videos, and some are funny, and uh, it's it's really entertaining. He, but um, so, you know, I, I know about the acetone, and you know, taking a little torch and and going about the engine. But this is the first time I am doing what he recommended for the block, your happy engine, and in his video. It didn't really show the, the product, but there it is, nice and clear. There's a part number. Okay, it's eleven dollars Home Depot, and you use about a, a quarter inch of it, and you just slowly go around the engine, and just uh, you know paint it, you know, so. That is the first time I've used it. So, yeah, I gotta take that out. So, um, I'm kind of testing the waters. And I can tell you this that paint, he's right. I don't know what's in it, but it's strong stuff. And another thing that I do to my engines. I try not to use gaskets. You know, you're probably thinking to yourself, you, you have leaks and whatnot. Well, of course I use a head gasket, okay? And of course I use intake manifold gaskets. But something that has a machine surface like this, I don't use a gasket. All right? I take the cover, I sand it flat, and it looks to be that this, this, you know, this, this paint, this Rust-Oleum, actually fills in the machining and that'll give me a flatter surface um, to bolt the cover to, and it'll seal. And the tool I use to scrape it, it is a hardened scraper, okay? Try not to drop this. If you drop it and it chips, you have to take it to a machine shop and they'll charge you 20 bucks to resurface it. Or you can just get the kit, it's a Lyle kit, okay? It comes with two, there's one half this width, and it's about 40 bucks. One thing I wanna I wanna share with you guys that you, may be a good idea for some of you, maybe not. Let me know what you think.
I really don't have a lot of subscribers, so if anyone just happens to see this video, let me know what you think. Um, I got other projects to work on, you know, that. I got to tune the uh, micro squirt. And that's just kind of snowballing. Uh, right now it's a water pump aluminum radiator. And I took apart the water pump, and I'm going to make it shorter. So I'll see how that goes. But anyways, um, and then you, you got that thing. That's a friend of mine's. Um, he's uh, working on it here. So, yeah. Don't mind the mess. I'm kind of in the middle of organizing still. But anyways, um, let me know what you guys think about this idea. So... I know a lot of you are having issues with uh, cams and uh, lifter lifter failures and stuff like that, and I haven't experienced it, but uh, you know I, I don't want to. <laughs> so yeah, I'm really sorry for you know you guys having those kind of issues. Um, there's really nothing more to say other than you know I know you guys are smart. You know you, you check your your stuff, you, you clean it, but uh, I have an idea that may um, help some of you. I got to get one more tool. Hold on. I'm just going to pause this. All right. So this is what I'm talking about. You get them for $6. You get them for 15 Depends on how good of a camera you want. It does have a strong light. And so um, to see if your cam is breaking in properly, um, I propose to drill a hole and put a pipe plug in there. And say if you want to inspect things, you take the plug out, put your little camera in there, and scope things out. Okay? Goes directly to the lifter valley. And I'm pretty sure you can get creative and, you know, come up with different plugs and things to hide them if you don't want people to see plugs in your intake. Me, personally, I don't mind. I will drill it, I will plug it, and I'll be happy. As long as I can look at my lifters and make sure that they're spinning and doing what they're doing, I'll be happy. Um, it's kind of overkill. You really don't need it, but it's just an idea. I thought I'd share it with you guys. Same thing on this manifold. Just drill you a plug somewhere and inspect every now and then. I mean, what's the harm, right? Well, who says that uh, you have to take off the intake to look at the lifters? Why not just get yourself a cheap borescope and, you know, inspect it without tearing the engine down? Why not? Well, anyways, um, I got another intake coming. So I got a ton of RAM. I got a mod man. And the mod man is, if I decide to, I'm going to um, put a blower on. And there is a... Um, there's a 671, and underneath there is an 871, okay? So I'm thinking that I want to put the 871 on a 413, and I want to put that 671 either on a small block 400, which I got in the corner, or maybe this 360. It depends. So, um... Yeah, let me know what you guys think, if it's a good idea, bad idea, indifferent, whatever. And um, I guess I'll wait for the comments.